As you see, hello everybody, welcome to the Grim Report. As you can see from the title, this is about a woman being haunted in Langston. Langston. Basically, she's been haunted by two two children. I wander around her house. She's signing in the middle of the night. She's been sing, singing. They've been, they sing in the middle of the night, people. Really, that's kind of, wow. <laughs> singing kids. Okay. Maybe she get a recording. Maybe send it to, you know, one of those, uh, what do you call it, places, uh, Maybe she can get a contract for the kids. They sing in the middle of the night. She records an entire record of whatever they're singing at the time. Just kidding. Her name is Mary Turner. She, she said she started noticing that there was a supernatural presence in her land, Stephen Helm, in her home. I'm just going to go home. Near Lungston. Shortly after moving into the house in March, the, the mother of three, she had three, she has three kids of her own, so. She said things started to happen within a week of her, after her moving in. They initially thought it was because it was a new and to us and they were just getting settled in, you know, not having carpet. Don't have carpets. And at that point, as well, things had more of an echo. You know, nothing to filter out whatever's in. She said the big, it started with the family could only hear mumbling. And people talking upstairs. And still, you know, it was hit by boat propellers. St. Ives was semi horrific moment happened as been up. She added, my parents started hearing singing, and though it was thought it was her daughter, basically. Little girl, they checked it out and she was asleep. I don't know why I'm gonna keep be singing, really. They weren't really aware of it, and her husband wasn't really wasn't really aware of it until like people. They weren't really aware of it until the thing lights started flickering. You know, like flashing type of deal. They said a couple of nights ago in March, quit quiet a quite late night, and they were in bed when they heard something crash downstairs. A book was on the table, and it hadn't been hanging over the edge at all. You know, it's probably like in the middle of the center or something like that. They said it sounded like someone pushed it off the table. They do have cats, but you think that would, you know, like, think, aha, it's the cats. No, they were in a utility closet. They really couldn't explain it other than really couldn't explain it. Quite, it did worry them a bit. They started looking into the history of the house and Pre-inquisition, they hear told a tragic, told a, to a teen, con Courtney Smith believed to have died from overdose, while the other mental, under a mental health care. Wow. Another time, they thought I heard their daughter getting out of bed. They expected her to knock at the bedroom door. There was a knock at her door and they opened it but it wasn't she wasn't there when their daughter guys they went to go check the, her room daughter was fast asleep they heard someone call mummy mommy mummy 
you know, like the British turn. It's not a horrible. It just makes them jump going up the stairs, keep getting shivers down their spines. Miss Turner said she used to work at Launceston, Jamaica, and Jamaica Inn, and regularly felt super out of presence. Watched police dash cams, footage of an audio clock at 107 miles per hour at 38. She added, although it was wild, windy to begin with, the Jamaican Inn in her first week was working, but a house for the Coke and lemonade back, and it came and flew down, smashed glass. In other words, this lady was not... You know, too much, too scared of the supernatural. I just think it was the kids that, uh, it being kids and she having kids that scared her. So a lot of tragedy happened. A kid was died in this house and another one died in the house. So, you know, could be them. You know, when things like that happen, children die. Tragic deaths, usually a lot of times, they, uh, they do tragedy, usually tragic deaths do mean that kids or adults start haunting things because of tra tragic places they either don't go into light or they don't know that they're dead. And there's among other things, but I won't get into that. I was getting way too much information, way too much information to y'all that y'all don't already know, so I'm not gonna put that out there. But woman's being haunted by kids, singing, haunting, knocking on her door. She heard the word "mama," "mummy." It's what they say in Brit England is "mummy." So "mama," "mummy." We say "mom," "mama." We don't say mummy, unless you're from England, so. It's kind of weird, but, and strange and paranormal at the same time. It's unexplained on how some of these things happen, but they do. So, what do you guys think? What should she do? She, I mean, she's used to it, because she worked at the Jamaican Inn. But... Should she move? It's a new house. Should she find a way to cope with it? Or should she get the spirits of the children out? Me personally, I would do my best to get the kids out so they can pass on. Because they are kids and they did die of a tragic death. I'd move them out of the house. You know, move to get the kids to move on if at all possible. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment, like if you liked the video, good luck, good night. God bless.